Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In April 2021, the Indian Ministry of Defense has issued an official RFI for the purchase of 350 next generation light tanks under Make in India scheme of DAP 2020. The Army wanted a light tank with combat weight not to exceed 25 tons and feature modular and upgradable main gun secondary armament for anti-air and ground roles with a different caliber and remote assisted weapon station. As per Army's requirement, the light tank should be able to fire modern advanced multi-purpose smart munitions with gun tube launched anti-tank guided missile and able to defeat tanks, A vehicles, UAVs and soft skinned vehicles and PGMs. It should have a snag level protection from all sides including top. It will also feature explosive reactive armor, soft kill measures, CBRN protection and instant fire detection and suppression system. The Army has officially named the lightweight tank program as Project Zoravar. Supporting Make in India initiative, in March 2022, the lightweight tanks have been put under Make One category of 2020 Defense Procurement Procedure by Ministry of Defense and will be funded by government. Earlier this year, the MOD has also given in principle approval for the development of a light tank and DAC is expected to accord the acceptance of necessity for the light tanks soon. DRDO is the lead development agency for the lightweight tank in partnership with LNT as development come production partner. The development of light tank is happening at a very rapid pace and within a year DRDO should be able to launch its prototype. The urgency of light tank has been realized by Army and the MOD due to the continued heavy deployment of armed forces across the LSE. China has advantage of light tank at high altitude with improved mobility, but Indian Army has no other option to field its main battle tank T-90 Bison. In last one month, DRDO chief has confirmed couple of times that the development of light tank will be fully completed by 2023 and will be ready for production. The recently appointed chairman of DRDO, S. Kamath, has also informed that the work on prototype of light tank is in full swing and is expected to be ready for production by next year. These tanks will be fitted with high altitude operable power pack of 1000 horsepower and capable of firing multiple ammunitions. While there is not much official confirmation on the design of light tanks, there seems to be two possible design that DRDO and LNT could be working. The first one could be based on DRDO's next generation main battle tank chases and second one based on the K9 Vajra chases. Back in December, CVRD of DRDO has released an RFI for supply of 22 tons of spared 500 steel plates which is medium hardness armor MHA. This MHA has much better protection than the widely used rolled homogeneous steel plates RHA. The crew arrangement shows a three-member crew on chassis which is similar to DRDO's next generation main battle tank design NG MBT. The NG MBT was supposed to be less than 60 ton so it's going to be interesting to see how DRDO can use NG MBT chassis to drastically reduce weight by 25 to 30 tons. It's also worth noting that NG MBT is supposed to use high nitrogen steel HNS as non-reactive armor. Due to better ballistic performance and lower cost, HNS has potential to replace RHA speed steel in armor modules and add on armor structures. What I am not sure is why CVRD is not procuring HNS instead of MHA which could have significantly reduced weight and provide better protection and suits perfectly well for light tank requirement. The tank is expected to have weight of 35 ton powered by MTU MT883 KA500 or 501 diesel engine delivering over 1100 kilowatt shaft power with 10 speed, 5 forward and 5 reverse. The same engine is used in western tanks such as Leclerc, Challenger 2E and Mirakawa MK4. 
LNT has already delivered 100 K9 Vajras, which is 155 mm SPH based on South Korean K9 Thunder. It has been reported that LNT is working with DRDO to convert the Hovitzer Vajra into a light tank. As per report, the project aims to field the first three tank prototypes in 18 months at a project cost of under Rs 200 crore. DRDO design swaps the K9's 155 mm Hovitzer with a modular turret and 105 mm gun made by Belgian firm John Cockrell Defense SA while using Vajra's 28 ton chassis, hull, and engine. The 105 mm Belgian gun can fire at a 42 degree elevation suited for mountainous warfare. The LNT's highly automated production line is idle and can churn these tanks at a rate of nearly 100 tanks per year. The K9 light tank's 1000 horsepower engine will give it the power to weight ratio of 28 horsepower per ton. Now there is significant amount of development involved in both the designs and it would be really interesting to see if DRDO along with LNT would be able to complete the development of light tank by 2023. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.